Welcome to Smart Villa Life. Here we talk about convenient home automation. Today we talk about managing a lot of light sources like lamps, uh, window lamps, pendants, spotlights, and make it all work together and easy and simple and usable. Uh, when you use, for example, your phone for your home automation or you use your desktop client or you use some uh, voice uh, recognition service or something you want it to be easy and convenient and i will show you how you can group devices together in, in various groups and you can one lamp can belong to many groups and you can name those groups in a smart way so it will just works like magic so i will show you a little bit about that today let's get on with it here we have the desktop client and here we have all the devices and we will go into the living room here we have um, some of the devices that we have previously shown you uh, what if you want to group all these lamps and devices together there's an app called device groups uh, which is a great one uh, i can show you it in app store uh, here it is a device groups and um, it basically it, what, it, what it does is it uh, group devices together and you can uh, control uh, in device as a whole and then you can edit groups as well which is a new feature that I just realized so sign in here and install it on your home and it works just fine you can look how you can edit your groups to begin with so I'll take an example here is all my groups uh, lawn, lawn spots, pendants, garden lamps, window lamps, and all lights. And here I have my pendants group, which is basically uh, that I have added. And so well, you can just click on the old lamp or new lamp, add it to it. And you can also allow uh, certain groups to allow dimming, so you can dim your entire group. Uh, I've done that for some devices, but not all my devices support dim dimming, so I have um, have it in some groups, but not in all. Let me go into devices. So here I can control my groups. Launch bots, pendants, window lamps, garden lights, and all lights. So if I wanted to turn off all lights, I can just turn on and off this, but then everything goes off. Um, window lamps is all my window lamps. So if, for example, if I'm away, and I want all the window, lamp, window lamps to be on. I turn off all the lights, then I turn on window lamps, for example. So uh, it looks like we're <laughs> we're home, but we're not. Uh, especially when you're living in a house, you want it to be uh, nice when you come home as well. So that's really nice, great to always have windows lamps on. Uh, or you can turn them off all the time, and then can when you're getting near your house, you can turn on the window lamps and then. Um, when you get into your entrance, the entrance li uh, lamps will turn on, etc. And you can group it and do uh, it like you want, uh, which is great. So you can have different groups for different purposes uh, in different flows. And when I go to bed, for example, I turn the all lights one. I turn that off. Then I know everything will be off. So it will be entirely dark when we go to sleep. So that's, I usually use Alexa for that, which is a great way to do it. So that's uh, how you uh, group. Well, how do you create a new group then? Well, you do it like this. Uh, you press the plus sign here and you go to this app uh, called group device and you go to device groups and you go to here. You can, like I talked told you before, you can have socket or light, um, but I used light. Here you can choose if you want it to be able to support on and off, dim, hue, saturation, temperature, and mode. And uh, some of my, my lamp doesn't support uh, dim and these other ones. So then I use only use on and off, uh, for example. Uh, if I to pick dim, there will be fewer, fewer lamps to being able to include in the group if I include. And here I have basically all my devices, even things that not is lamps, uh, but I can include them as well. Um, then I can include uh, different things in my group. For example, here I can click like this one and uh, remove them again. And uh, plus, uh, let's do some bathroom, uh, small and big bathroom uh, in my in one 
pendants. So bathroom pendants, then I can use this one to turn them on and off if I would like to. But I don't like to have this group, so let's remove it again. It's that simple. Uh, so if I, I can add, I can simply add uh, uh, this to a flow. Uh, let me show you a flow that I have used this already. Uh, late evening, for example, is uh, 22.10 in the evening. Uh, guests, if guests is not here and my alarm is uh, not armed, then everything is turned off. And here we have the launch spots and the window lamps groups and even my pendants group. Some of this lamp is redundant, but I do it anyway to be really sure that everything is off. Uh, so, and then I add something to my login tree. Um, but that is a flow when I really use, and this happens every day. So at 22.10, all my light is off. If I'm not having guests, of course. So that's that. Uh, that's how you control and convenient can control them. And all these devices that I mentioned, I can just use their naming as a way to tell my Alexa to just use them. And I use that all the time. So, what do you think of this one? Uh, my question of the day is, how many lamps do you have at home? And how many of them are smart yet? <laughs> uh, so leave, the, leave it down below. And uh, if you have some ideas that you would like to do with lightning at home, that would be great to hear. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you uh, like this content, please consider to subscribe.